Hello, friends. Last week it was, well, a serious version of basically the Princess Diaries. We even starred Anne Hathaway. This week... Well, this week I was not so fortunate. So, this week we watched the proposal. Or, well, I should say I watched the proposal. Um, it was boring, and it wasn't funny, and it's a comedy, and it wasn't funny. Why not? I don't know. They certainly had quite a few comedy greats in there. They got Betty White, for God's sake. How do you make Betty White not funny? I just, I'm getting ahead of myself. This movie <laughs> stars a bossy Sandra Bullock and a put-upon Ryan Reynolds in a forced romance where they eventually learn that there is more to the other than either of them ever expected and they fall in love despite the odds. Gee, where have I heard that plot before? Yeah, this movie's cliched. It's cliched just in the worst, most boring, dull, dumb possible way. I mean, how do you mess up Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds? They're both funny people. They can do comedy well. How do you mess up Betty White? I'm getting ahead of myself again, sorry. So, Sandra Bullock is a editor, publishing person, and uh, she's mean, and Ryan Reynolds is her put-upon assistant who is always scurrying around trying to make her life so much easier with barely a thank you. I guess it's kind of gender bent from what you normally see, which is nice, but quite frankly, the non clicheness stops there. There's not much to say about this movie beyond the fact that it is, well, cliche and dull and boring and not funny, and how do you make a not funny comedy? Easily, apparently. Comedy can be hard to do. And when it works, it works well. And when it doesn't, it's painful. This was a painful movie. It had people I enjoy watching in it. Betty White, especially. And it was just... irritating. This movie grated my nerves. I only made it through once. I've been trying to watch every movie twice, and I made it through once, and quite frankly, I think that was once too many. It's just... Clichés are a thing. Cliché characters are those stereotypes you always see. The bossy, irritating woman, or the super happy-go-lucky girl, or the dumb blonde. Or, you know, the super sporty jock guy, or the super sporty jock girl who doesn't care about what she looks like. Or the bookish dude who's super into books and doesn't have time for anything else. There's a lot of cliches out there. Just go on TV tropes. You can find a lot. But cliches can be done well. Especially with comedy, you can use cliches to sort of subvert people's expectations and change the entire plot and how people look at things. Like Legally Blonde. That took the most stereotypical, cliched girl ever. Elle Woods, the typical, kinda ditzy blonde girl who just loves shopping and fashion. And they turned her into a lawyer without losing that sort of fun-loving, fashion-forward girl. 
that's an example of cliches done well and done right and comedy done amazingly, quite frankly. Yeah, I like Legally Blonde. Shocker, isn't it? But this... This wasn't done well. It was predictable. You could see where it was headed right from the start. You knew that there was going to be some sort of contrived way to get them into a relationship, in this case a marriage, and you knew that by the end of it they would be in love. And that's exactly what happened. There's nothing new in this movie, there's nothing fun in this movie, and, well, every gag just kind of falls flat. And I felt like it had a few moments where it could have been hilarious, but then it fell right back into its wondrous pit of cliché, and, well, I was not laughing. It might just be me. Clichés and chick flicks especially aren't my thing. I'm not very interested in romantic comedies. I'm not very interested in romantic movies to begin with. That's kind of the point of this movie. But I've been trying to go into every movie with an open mind. After all, I like Legally Blonde. I like Mean Girls. Comedies, especially, can be more universal. But this one wasn't. And maybe it is me. Maybe I'm just a little bit too pessimistic for this kind of movie. I can't just sit back and enjoy a dumb romance. Oh, I can sit back and enjoy a lot of dumb things. So many dumb things. I mean, I've sat through the first Transformers movie multiple times and enjoyed it. At least twice. And that's a dumb, dumb movie. But this was dumb, and not appealing to me. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, you guys might love The Proposal. You might think it's the funniest movie ever. We'll just have to dis agree to disagree on that point. But hey, I mean, it wasn't the worst movie ever. Certainly not the worst movie I've had to watch for Chip Flickuary. That award is still being held by Clueless. Of course, I may not fare so luckily next week. Because next week, it's time to watch one of those movies I have prided myself on avoiding for many, many years. Next week, it's time to watch Love. Actually. Actually. Yay. Very excited. Can you tell? Can't wait. Actually, I can. But I'll do my best to get it out in a more timely fashion than I have gotten this one and the previous one out, and well, hey, the month's almost over, so I'm almost free. If you have any ideas for what I should do in March, let me know, and if you've liked the Lux Plays and all of these videos, let me know too, because I am enjoying doing them. Even if it does take me a while to actually make them and get them out. So yeah, I will see you next week with Love Actually, and hopefully I won't be face down on my desk for that one. Bye!